Hi, I'm Shakti Durga. Welcome to the Goddess Speaks podcast. This is a collection of discourses from the ancient goddess Artha containing spiritual energy and activations and discussions of those discourses. I hope that the teachings are beneficial to you on your personal journey of enlightenment. And Artha speaks. Namaste, beloved ones, and welcome again to this holy temple within the precinct of the sun. The holy light, known by so many people throughout so many eons, the architecture of which was given to the minds of those who had the responsibility of creating similar structures for the honouring of the gods in the systems that predate your awareness. Some of the remnants of these systems are seen upon your earth in the ancient buildings of the ancient world so-called by the modern man. The people of those times, which we will call the ancient times, the people of those times had a different constitution to the people of your time, for they were less enamoured of the mind as the senior instrument of consciousness and perceived very well the nature of mind as pertaining to that which is created in our life around us. Always in every age there are those who seek to bind creation to themselves and whose selfishness leads to discord in any community. And so it is that the impressionable, when faced with these discordant energies, will sometimes only see the baubles that have been drawn to such a being and see all the bright shiny things that adorn the life of the one who has become misguided. And they will be attracted to these fields of what they term plenty at the expense of that which is the infinite inheritance. These problems have always beset humanity and are typical of the system in which you've been planted by the divine to find yourself once more back in constant communion of a nature of such joy. For as your consciousness changes, you become more attuned to the more sensitive feelings of love and joy, fulfillment and peace. The ananda becomes something that is craved far more than any of the physical items that some prefer. As humans, you have a limited view of the consciousness of these animal species. Your vision of animals is often one that is flavoured by the predator-prey relationship, whichever end of that spectrum you find yourself on, it does tend to curtail any of the native personality aspects of wild animals. These animals in their own setting are not wild, but have personalities, families, connections with each other, responsibilities, and options in their life as part of a herd or a pack or a school or a flock. These things are not within the sensibilities of the human race as humanity customarily finds itself feeling superior to all other life's dreams and thus misses the subtleties which would give lie to that reality. All of the beings of this earth are capable of communing with all other beings, but such is the nature of Maya that it happens less frequently than one would expect. Allow yourself now to be fully present within your body, to feel your connection to the planet earth, and to perceive through our beloved Eartha the many mysteries of the countless species to whom she has been the hostess. When communing with the animal kingdom, merge with the mother Artha. 
for she is always in constant communion with all of the animal kingdom. The animals, beloved ones, have less trouble communing with Artha than you do. And as you connect the kind of sequence, the circuit that is necessary, you will find that your awareness and understanding of the various animals in your life will be much greater and richer than ever before. And as your consciousness expands and your love and understanding expands, all things will take on a different meaning for you. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Goddess Speaks. If so, please share it with your friends and your family so they can benefit too. If you'd like to connect with me, visit my website, shaktidurga.com.